started tango 11 years ago, dancing. Uh, I first heard tango about 13 years ago. I was, I was in high school of all things and I was in a music class and I heard this, this music coming through the speakers of something we were listening to and, and I knew whatever that is I have to do something to that. For me it was discovering an entire part of a culture that existed simultaneously with the mainstream. Uh, so professionally, after I started teaching, I started DJing tango events and milongas and festivals. And from there it just really took off and I found myself doing so many things, the dancing, the teaching, the singing, the orchestra stuff, the arranging, the traveling. And it, it made me feel like I, I, was, I was a complete tango dancer, like I was a complete tango person. I knew then, like, I, I have to do this. This is, this is mine. Because the embrace can be such an important thing and such a memorable thing, the way that I like to teach it to my students is based on a, a sensation. Um, how close can we get to maximizing that sensation? And of course, a lot of that comes through body awareness. So I ask them to try different things. Maybe it means, you know, this shoulder is a little bit back or down, or maybe the way that they hold their head, if it's tilting too far down, then it makes a huge difference. And so I really spend a lot of time both with the men and the women because everyone has their role. If a guy's too hard and too rigid, I think just like in life, then it almost has a way of making people stay away from him. Uh, if a guy's too soft, then I think sometimes people can feel like they can run over them in a way. Um, for women, it's much the same thing. We teach them to be present, to be aware, to be there, to really engage in the embrace. Because if they do that, then they're, at, they're showing the guy in a way, without opening their mouth at all. They're saying, I'm willing to engage in this. I have to find uh, the connection with the other person. And uh, everybody is different, so every time you have to adjust yourself and uh, find the other in the embrace and in the dance, and that's not easy. I spend a lot of time on through body awareness, through having people swap roles sometimes. I know it sounds kind of strange, but sometimes if a woman doesn't quite understand the impact of her embrace and what it means for the guy, I have her lead the guy. So then she has to not only think about what it felt like for her, but what the guy must be going through. I want to learn how to lead because I want to know how it feels being a guy, how it feels. So I just want to experience the other part. And I think that that can improve my dancing as a woman, of course, because uh, I don't know if I, if I do this or that, uh, what feeling they get from that. And this is very important, I think. And the same for guys. If I have a private student who is a, a male, uh, sometimes I'll, I'll have him lead me around, purely for the idea and the knowledge and awareness of, all right, all right, all right, I understood this is what I had in mind, but this is probably what I really need to do in order to get that effect. In tango, when we're walking, whether you're a man or a woman, your feet and your legs have to have a conversation with one another. It's a very simple conversation, and it's this. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. The same walking back. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. If our legs are this far apart and our feet are this far apart, what we get is something a bit like this. And so it's like our legs are saying, hey! this way, that it's, oh hello, oh hello, oh yes, I remember, yes, oh yes. <laughs> what I struggled with from the beginning was learning how to lead. I didn't think something could be so damn hard. I, I knew I wanted to dance tango, just in some way I thought maybe I could do it without learning how to lead. I, it's a strange thing because when you take the embrace as the guy or when you're learning how to dance from the beginning, you think, this can't be that hard. I walk every day. It's left, right, then left again. I know what I'm doing. But the moment you take the embrace, it's all bets are off. A guy can make the dance comfortable um, with not forcing me. 
not pushing me, not uh, pushing me out of my access. If uh, he feels that I, I have difficulties to follow, uh, then he should wait a bit or, or um, he should uh, wait for me so that we, we find our uh, connection uh, just by walking with someone but if uh, we have the connection and we walk that's per that can be very very fantastic the secrets that exist within the dance and, and what I said was that women generally it's not about oh look how suave the guy is look how sexy he is look at the moves he does but it's look how he walks feel how he walks for us for guys it's this idea of Look how she waits. Feel how she waits. Feel how she waits for me. That she could dance and probably has danced with everybody else on the floor at the Milonga. But when she dances with me, it's, it's our dance. She's letting me express myself. She waits for the way I want to walk. She waits for the way I want to weight change. When it comes time for the way she does it with me, she yearns to feel that from me. And when, when we talk about women who are exceptional dancers, that's always at the top of the list. The most hardened guy will just go, ah, oh, she, ah, oh, she, I felt like she was with me the whole time. She waited, she did this, I felt like I was me. And, and I think that's what we all want in tango, is to feel like someone allows us to be us. Feeling of the embrace or the clicking that, that might happen. When you, when you have it, when you're able to do it, or when you receive it from someone, it's like receiving a gift that you've wanted a long time, it's just that you never knew you really wanted it. It's, it's when you see someone that you haven't seen in a long time and you really hug them, I mean really hug them. You yearn to connect with them in some way, to say, I'm here with you, you're here with me. I think that's what it is. When the embrace is that way, you really feel someone else's presence and, and that can be one of the things that I think a lot of people feel like they fall in love in tango with this idea that you may not know someone completely or you may have not know them at all or it may be someone you've known for years but when you meet each other on the tango floor and you really connect there's this feeling of like you can almost do anything if that person is willing to do it with you. Cuando tú pasas caminando por la tarde, repite claro tu toquito en la vereda, marca un compás de cadenza melodiosa, de una milonga juguetona carrera, y tú vas a ver aparecer en las bailares, así te miren y te miren lo que quieren, porque tú llevas en tu cuerpo la arrogancia, el moto son dolor de las panderas, tardecita criolla, del límpido cielo, bordado de nubes, llevas en tu pelo.